hello and welcome to this session in this session we will learn how we can create a very simple login test I am Raghav you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com and as always we are going to go very basic step by step and I will start from scratch so let's get started and step number one is let us see the scenario or the navigation that we are going to do so here I will take an example of some website you can take any login example I am going to this test project demo website where we have this login page where I can add a name a password the password given here is 12345 and then click on the login button so this is what I am going to do with cucumber java selenium project and step number two is we have to create a feature file and add the scenario and steps so I will go to my system and go to Eclipse you can also follow this on Mac I am doing this on Windows but you will you can follow this on Mac and I, I hope you have already seen the earlier setup sessions or project setup sessions both on Windows and Mac so now I am going to go to my project this is the project that I have already created and under the features folder I am going to do a right click create a new file and I will name this is let us say login demo dot feature and finish and I will delete everything and create a new file I will say feature is test login functionality and scenario check login is successful with valid with valid credentials and then I will write the steps given when then I will say given browser is open and I will also say and so you can use and anywhere in between and user is on login page when user enters username and password then user is navigated to the next page or maybe maybe you can say the home page and this is the feature file I will save everything do a right click and say pretty format so the formatting is corrected and now next step is I will add the backend code or the glue code or the step definition for these steps so I will go to my SRC test Java package and under step definition I will create a new class and I will say this is login demo steps you can name it anything and finish now I will have to add the functions here and the easy way is I will directly go to the feature file which I have just created do a right click save and do a right click and run as cucumber feature and here okay so this I think is running something else okay so this is running because the same name is available in a different feature file as well uh, let me just check that so if I say if I see this login dot feature so you can see user is on login page all this is here I have all these steps here so because I have not said which is the step definition it has to follow it is finding everything here so let me just again comment this out and this as well Google search steps that we did in the earlier session I will show you later how we can uh, run a particular step definition for a particular feature file but for now uh, this should do I will right click run as cucumber feature and yes this time it did not find any step definition so it has created this message you can implement the missing step so I'll copy this from here I'll copy and go to the login demo steps class and paste it here and I will correct the formatting Control A and Control I and I have to import all these annotations so I will hover over given and import from Cucumber 
and instead of only importing given I will say star so that it imports everything else and let me manually change this this is end and I think there should be one more step here and user clicks on login so this was missing if I save this and run again you can see it is saying uh, this step is missing I will copy this and add here after when this will come and this is not when this is end so here I have created the step definition file although I need to write the selenium code here so I will delete everything which is inside these functions as of now so that I can write a new code from scratch so this is now done and now I have to open the browser first now I'm going to get the code from the earlier uh, step definition that we created in the earlier session so that I do not have to redo everything where we have to also provide the path for the chrome driver so this is the code I'm just going to copy this from here and I will provide this here or I think I'll again have to press control and forward slash yeah this is a uncommented now and I will also have to provide a driver variable I will say web driver driver equals null and I'll import this from selenium and chrome driver as well I have to import alright so time unit I will import from java util so all these imports are here now so this is done uh, now I can open the browser with these commands and statements the next is I have to go to the login page so here I will copy this location or the URL and here I will say driver dot navigate to and provide the URL here and then I have to add the statements to enter username and password so if I go to the username field do a right click inspect so here I can see uh, there is a ID property which is name I can use this similarly let me check for password so if I do a right click on password and inspect here is again ID password I can use this and then let me check for login as well do a right click on login inspect and here as well I have a ID property which is login so this is what I can use we have IDs available for all these three elements so here I can say driver dot find element by dot ID and the ID for username is name and then I will say dot send keys and I can add some name here and then for password I will again say driver dot find element by dot ID and the ID is password dot send keys and the password it has given is one two three four five and then click on the login button in the next step I will say driver dot find element by dot ID and the ID is login uh, here I just have to say click so we have a, a click function in selenium and that's it now I'm doing this a little faster because I have already shown all this in the earlier sessions and if you're not getting auto suggestion you can always press control spacebar and now after this uh, I have to check if user is on the next page so let me see what is there on the next page if I do a login I get all this so let me check logout this is if this is present I can verify that the login is successful so I will say driver dot get page source dot 
I will say contains or if I just check the ID or property for this logout button let me check that so here it is uh, the ID is logout I can just check this I will say driver dot find element by dot ID which is logout and I will say this is is enabled or is displayed should work that's it and then I will say driver dot close and I can also say driver dot quit and that's it this is my class so this is the step definition I will now run this so in the steps we have done this and we have also added the selenium webdriver code and now we will run the feature file and check the execution so I will do a right click run as cucumber feature and let us see the execution it opens the browser goes to the application and yes it was very fast uh, let me slow it down I can add some sleep statements so here after it enters username and password I will say thread dot sleep and let us wait for two seconds so this is in milliseconds so that's why I'm saying 2000 and I will say add throws declaration and similarly after click on login or uh, just after this after closing the driver I will again say thread dot sleep for two seconds and I will add the throws declaration that's it let me run this again so this is opening the browser goes to the application and logs in you can see it has entered and now it is it has logged in and now it has closed the browser so this is working fine now I will also show you how you can parameterize username and password and you can actually run this scenario multiple times with different values of the data or different values of username and password this I will teach you in the next session I hope this was useful for you you can do some more hands-on exercises by your own and take some more examples I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching